in the Bay Area, tourism officials are really hoping to cash in. Candace McCowan joins us now live from Tampa with more. And Candace, this is one of those scenarios where we kind of go, sorry about your luck, but want to come for a visit? <laughs> Yeah, hey, it's time to come visit. You know, the storm was predicted several days out, giving people who have the option to get away from the cold weather and come down to the warm weather where they have options to hang out outside like we do. They could be buying milk and bread or watching public works crews prep the roads. Instead, they're here. Uh, I just got word that it was eight degrees up there today. Roger Shavina is from Delaware. Delaware, what are they expecting this weekend? Uh, three feet. And while up north, they see snow in the forecast, tourism officials see more money on our radar. It doesn't matter w when snow happens. What it is, it's the signal that it's wintertime. And when people get into winter, they start thinking very quickly, how do I get out of winter? Last year, the tourism arm for St. Petersburg Clearwater used snowmen in New York City holding signs saying sunshine or bus to encourage travel to the Bay Area. They'll be doing more of the same this year with signage in colder cities like this saying less polar more solar, a method they tell us worked even with a record-setting warm December. The mild December proved beautiful for us. Um, November was a record. Uh, we're going on 27 months of record tourism. The talk of a winter storm leaving oh, yeah. some asking, why go home? Maybe we stay here a couple of weeks, some more weeks. And as for our northern neighbors that I ran into out on the beach today, while well, we think this is a quite chilly, they looked at me and thought I was quite silly dressed in long sleeves in this weather. Jen? I think you look great, and I think uh, it is chilly by our standards. Candace McCallan, live in Tampa, thank you very much. And if